What's going on guys, it's Dio here with Return of Dio Gaming on YouTube and I'm bringing you a game of Call of Duty Black Ops Domination on the Map Summit. I'm running my normal setup. This was one of my first games back after getting off of spring break, so I haven't played in about two weeks coming into this. So I just had to run my normal class, you know, I look at the classes, decide what I want, and I have to go with my normal AK-47 because, you know, can't just jump right into it and start something new, so I had to Capture at least get a few warm-up games, so... If you notice the title, this video is for the real commentator March Madness over on Nappy Boy 92s channel. I just wanted to get that out there, but that's why the title is a little goofy, but so there you go with that. I actually thought I killed someone with that grenade, but it was just the position secure thing and I was just tripping, I guess. Get that little guy. Little guy head glitching, I don't know why I called him little. I kind of want to talk about my thoughts on Call of Duty. You know, this game's been out for a while now, I'm not sure exactly how long. Not a year, obviously, but... <laughs> Uh, like, uh, eight months or something like that, I don't really know, but what I've started to notice lately, not so many people are running the AK-74 as they used to, you know, it used to be a huge problem, everyone's like, oh, Ghost, AK-74, rapid fire with the grip, it's overpowered, everyone's running it, I haven't ran into it lately, I don't know about you guys, but I I'm happy about it because it was kind of annoying, and yes, it's not overpowered, but a lot of people use it, and it is extremely effective, oh, look, right as I say that, I run over an AK-74 for you, but... Honestly, I don't know, maybe it just hasn't been bothering me, maybe, I, maybe I'm getting to turn on people before they kill me with it. Whatever it is, I don't mind it. I don't, I don't mind not getting killed by that little, little bitch setup. I don't know what you want to call it, but... So like I said, I just got off a of spring break. I didn't play for about two weeks. Look, I, I almost ran off the map here. That's how long it's been. I'm just running straight off when I'm on my nice kill streak, one or two away from my blackbird. But uh, I was on spring break and I was just sort of hanging out at my parents' house for the whole week. My girlfriend and I went out there and my sister flew out. Oh, got a text. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my sister flew out and she brought her her daughter. So that's my niece and uh, my brother-in-law. Her husband wasn't able to make it, so that's too bad. But it was still a good time and. My niece is only five months old, so we took her to the church, the church that my sister grew up going to. Well, all of us kids, but you know what I mean. And got the little baby, her name is Kylie. She's, like I said, five months old, got her baptized. So that was really cool. Uh, I pick up this, let me just break subject. I pick up that sniper rifle just because I was trying to pick up any random gun on the ground right there. And I actually got a kill with it, so got her definitely. But yeah, like I was saying, sorry, I'm back and forth. We got Kylie baptized, and I'm actually the godfather, so that's really exciting for me, you know. They, they live in Illinois, and I live in Colorado, so it kind of sucks. I don't see them very often, but as much as possible, you know, as, as much as money will allow, I guess, is really the main thing. So, I, I don't know if I should talk about the gameplay. Like I said, this Call of Duty is getting a little old now. I, I still enjoy playing the game, but commentating it just it's kind of boring you can't really give tips everyone knows everything about it and there's just really nothing new i can tell you like, i can tell you what class i use and why but I, i've already covered that you know the tac tactical mask pro is probably the best perk in the game in my opinion well maybe flakjack pro I, I run both of them so it doesn't matter to me but the ability to not take fire from tactical or lethal grenades is amazing like um my friend hitting the prodigy who's in this game with me he was watching this game in the file share and i get hit with the flashbang and he's like wow that was just like a camera flash it didn't even phase you and exactly and when you're playing a game that's based on the flags like an, obviously an objective game it's very nice to be able to stand on the flag and get bombarded with all these grenades and just stand there and take it until you get bombarded i'm bombarded and two sh short seconds that was Losing stupid alpha. but until three guys rush you and you choke on the triple spray and get taken out by their bullets that it doesn't doesn't protect you from that I, I don't know what that guy was doing he was just laying on the floor having a good time and I just walked right into his barrel I guess these guys I feel like they kind of started giving up because they weren't even pushing they're just camping there waiting for us to come to them and I should have mentioned this at the start of the really game we were getting a little tired of just two capping and then spawn trapping him you know Oh, excuse me, and just running up the score. So we started to try and triple cap them just so they would spawn randomly and we could just take them out as as we saw them. And I don't know, we didn't really have a plan, just get as many flags as we can and keep the game interesting. And as I say that, of course, I'm just chilling here being a goofball. Hitting the prodigies like, oh, check out my sniper, it's so cool. So I had to show them up that I had the same one and then shoot them with it because, you know, that's, that's how you handle problems in Call of Duty, you shoot at them. So we were triple capping, I think we go back and get it again. I don't want to spoil the end of this game, but it's pretty, as you can already tell with the score actually, it's pretty, um, 
Uh, not a good time for the other team. Let's put it like that. I don't want to use any vulgar terms. I'm sure you all know what I wanted to say, but I don't want to avoid that. Get a nice little double spray through there. I don't know how my teammates, all, all of them, missed that guy. Like, come on, guys, but I'll take it. More kills for me while also playing the objective. So like I said, we have the triple cap. Just trying to figure out where they spawn. I think a little bit here, I just kind of run, and I'll run to B and then run back this way because I see him on the radar spawn on the other side of the map. So it's, it's kind of hard to play like this because their spawn's always switching and we want to keep them off of flag. So you're constantly back and forth. Like here, let's see. Oh no, I actually push up this one, but it's just really hard to figure out where they're spawning and be able to be there. So especially not running lightweight or marathon because I can't get across the map fast enough to kill the guys and make it to him before my teammates do so a lot of it is just kind of watching your radar luckily I think two or three people on our team were running a spy plane so we could see where they were almost at all times I mean if they're not wearing ghosts but th that's another thing like I said AK-74 you isn't really a problem people complain about ghost I do I have absolutely no problem with ghosts like yeah once in a while ghosts will get me and in the heat of the moment I'll yell oh I hate ghosts it's, it's stupid but it shouldn't be in the game but all in all, I really don't mind it. Like, Got the guys running ghosts, those are the same guys that died of one grenade, like, within 10 meters of them or whatever. It's it's not a big deal. I mean, as long as you're watching the screen more than you're watching your radar, you really shouldn't have a problem. Unless, of course, they are the stereotypical Wings of Redemption. Yep, call them out. Camper in the corner with ghost on, on just, just waiting for you to walk by or just head glitching Friendly one default, certain choke on point. The and then that is obnoxious and that pisses me wrong. off, but... Just in the game, see, like, oh, that guy didn't have ghosts, just kidding. But when they do have ghosts, they really don't matter to me, like, they hardly ever kill me. I'm not trying to say that I'm some god or something, but they don't usually have a chance to kill me, and I can get them before they can get me, so it really doesn't matter. So, there's the end, 28 and 5 with 3 caps and 2 defense. We win 200 to 25, and a shout out to the, the Huppet crew and Nox PHX for going 30 and 2 in that game. Very impressive. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, do what you do, and I will talk to you guys later.